All right, everybody, this is Dante Fortson, AKA the Indoor Survivalist. And here I'm gonna show you some of the indoor um, survivalist cutting tools. Uh, basically, these are uh, cutting tools that anybody can use, not just for indoor survival, but, but specifically if you have to bug out or if you have to become self-reliant. Um, there's still a couple more tools I wanna add, but for right now, this is what I have. And actually, all of these will be in my bug out bag. The first thing I went for, um, a lot of people have the little tiny finger saws. Put the loops over your finger and you saw. Um, I think that's pointless because the, the branches will be so small that you can just hack them off anyway. Um, that thing is not really for cutting big trees. So what I did was instead of going the finger saw route, I just bought a hacksaw. Um, hacksaws are pretty cheap. Um, I'm sure they have some, some that are super expensive, but this thing cost me I think five or six bucks. I've had it for a while. Uh, but yeah, I think I got this at, I want to say Lowe's, uh, maybe Walmart. It was a long time ago. I don't frequent Walmart much. Uh, so most of the time I either get stuff at Lowe's or on Amazon. But yeah, you can grab one of these for like five or six bucks. And to me, it's better than a handsaw. You can also buy uh, more blades, which I do have. Uh, but that's the first cutting tool in my bag. Uh, the second one, I just bought this this weekend. Haven't had a chance to try it. Um, this hatchet right here. You can use this for cutting down branches, leaves. Um, I don't know how sharp it is, but I don't run my fingers across the blade to find out. So, yeah, it's, it's something I'm going to have to go test and see. But this thing right here, I believe I paid 12 bucks. I've seen some for like $9 on the internet, uh, but you have to pay for shipping, so it'll probably even out. Uh, but, yeah, you might be able to pick one up at like a swap meet or a flea market uh, for a few dollars. And I believe... Uh, even even some survival places but I found and this is again this is just my personal experience uh, but the survival and outdoor places tend to be a little bit more expensive um, than, than Amazon or Walmart as much as I hate Walmart they do have a, a wide selection of uh, tools at a cheaper price so yeah that's the second item uh, the third item on my list let me open this up uh, it's a hobo tool comes with this holder right there and this thing comes with a, a spoon on one side fork on the other uh, let me see if I can snap these apart real quick but I believe these snap apart so that you can use them separately if you wanna um, let me see if I can get this off if you wanna eat with them here they are this thing snaps right in half you can eat with your fork and your spoon separate also has a corkscrew um, has a knife on this end, has a knife on this end. It's hard to work these with one hand, let me see. Try not to hit the camera. Yeah, has a knife on there. Uh, so this is a pretty interesting little gadget to have. Um, if you don't want to put plastic dinnerware in your bug out bag or um, whatever else you have laying around, I've seen a lot of people do that. That's an option too. This thing is super cheap. I paid less than $5 for this. Um, that's my daughter in the background, if you heard that. But yeah, I paid less than $5 for this set, and it's pretty nice. Um, it'll, it'll last you a while. It's probably not preferable to a real knife and fork, but hey, in a situation where you need it, it comes in handy. This is a pocket knife I got from Walmart uh, the other day when I went to buy ammo. That thing cost me a dollar. Walmart apparently has these on sale all the time. I thought it was a sale, but they have these for a dollar at Walmart. The plastic handle is really crappy. Don't expect to get any super long-term heavy use out of this plastic handle. It's really flimsy, uh, but the blade is good. The blade is stainless steel. You might not be able to gut big game or anything like that, but definitely small game like squirrels or whatever you catch um, and fish. It'll work for that, and it's only a buck, so if you're on a super budget, you can pick that up for a dollar. Um, let me see. As a matter of fact, every item I'm showing you right now is less than $20. So if you're prepping on a budget, you can grab these. This next set I picked up yesterday, it's made by Winchester. Um, I think it's pretty nice. Comes with a, a pocket knife. It was uh, $17. This is a really, really uh, good pocket knife. It, it doesn't flick out, but you could use it uh, for small game, fish, um, cutting cordage, or whatever. And then, along with that, in the set was a multi-tool. This, this is a small multi-tool right here. Um, and then there was one more item in the set. And again, this is under 20 bucks. Let me move these up. 
a little bit farther so you can see them better. And then finally, there was the big multi-tool. Use both hands here. This is the large multi-tool. So I got this set of three for 17 bucks. I don't know if it was on sale or not, but this is at Walmart. I made a, I purchased a bunch of stuff. So with these, I end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tools I've showed you so far um, with, for under $20. And I wasn't going to make this an under $20 video, but it just happens to fit in perfect. I didn't plan it that way. The other two that I'm going to show you are also under $20. And I picked these up at a good price as well. Let me move these out of the way before I get to the other last two. All right, finally, well, not finally, <laughs> well, we're finally getting to this one. This is a little small pocket knife. Um, I have, I think it was maybe about five bucks. I actually saw this at Walmart. I bought this for about $5. This has been years. Um, but I saw that at Walmart uh, yesterday. This was about $15 right here. So this has tweezers in it. Of course, it has all the knives and stuff as you would have on a regular, um, a regular pocket knife. But basically, yeah, it's just a simple little pocket knife to have. I like the tweezers. Oh, the other side, toothpick. There we go. Toothpick. I don't want to show brand names. They're not paying me to endorse these. So, yeah, you get you get some pretty cool stuff there. So you get a dinner set. You have a toothpick. You have tweezers. You have a knife. You have a fork. You have a corkscrew. And here we go. Finally, um, this is my personal defense knife that I would be carrying on me. I've had this for a very long time. Um, I'm not sure what this handle is made out of. It feels like metal, but it has the bronzing color on there. This thing is very sturdy. Um, the sheath right here very durable I've had this for at least four years um, I don't carry it around right now as personal defense or anything but I have taken it hunting I have gutted deer with it um, gutted rabbit done you know things like that but yeah it's it's pretty decent knife and I got it for 19 bucks so again under $20 uh, stainless steel blade I don't know who it was made by I actually picked this up at the local indoor swap meet a while back uh, they had a few of them. I think my brother got one uh, with a, a plastic handle. I don't recommend the plastic handle. If you can find some like this where the whole entire thing is made of metal, I would suggest getting something like this. And that's basically it for now in my survival toolkit um, for cutting objects under $20. Uh, so yeah, you might want to check these out. I'm still looking for a machete. I was looking at the Gerber uh, machete for I think it was $17. But I've heard a lot of bad reviews on that. So if anybody knows of any good machetes out there for the $20 price range, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Oh, and one more thing before I go, I almost turned it off. IndoorSurvivalist.com. You can go there for all the indoor survival information. If you have any tips or tricks or questions you want me to answer, uh, go ahead and leave me a message and I'll get back to you. IndoorSurvivalist.com. The link should be at the bottom of the screen.